All right, The weekend has announced that he will be performing at halftime of Super Bowl 55. Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And that will be in Tampa, Florida. A lot of people have expectations of the Buccaneers reaching to the Super Bowl. I can't remember another time in history off top that a home team has hosted, has been able to play in a stadium, which is the same thing as hosting it. But I think that's a great pick. You know, um, the NFL should be trying to get back in the good graces of black people, straight up and down. This is exactly how it should be um, with the Kaepernick thing. And people forgot. And you got to understand um, the black community in America, they forget quicker than they forgive. And they forgive pretty quick. Um, so I'm not really surprised. But they got to get that. They got to get that black viewership back. You know, they talk junk about the black patron or the black viewer. But that's the most important viewer to reach out to. Or one of the more important view uh, viewers to reach out to. But um, but yeah, they should. I can't remember who performed last year, but they should have. They should be. They should allow Jay Z to rock the mic. You know, and you got to remember Jay Z is also handling the entertainment now. They should allow Meek Mill to get up there. You know, you got to understand that uh, hip hop as a culture is the most popular. Culture is one of the more younger cultures throughout, you know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, we should be able. Well, what, 85, 80% of the National Football League is black? You know what I'm saying? You see Drew Locke, the quarterback of the different Broncos I put on for my city. You know, he he danced into that. You know, and it just seemed like white America is still reluctant to recognize the hip-hop culture as the most influential culture right now. You know what I'm saying? And it takes over... The entire world, you know, you got white suburban and black and suburban kids and Indian and Arab suburban kids who love the culture. You know, you got a lot of white people who, who you know, was in the upper echelon of business and they don't have no problem throwing uh, push in a Walmart commercial. I'm just saying, for example, they ain't got a problem with using the James Brown. Oh, I feel good and putting it in a commercial. You know, they can use our culture. To, to sell their products, Walmart, Kohl's, etc. But it's not good enough to perform. Half your, more than 90, probably 98% of the National Football League listen to hip hop, R&B, rap. But you can, you can accept the pop culture though. In real talk, we really created the pop culture or popularized it with Michael Jackson. We created that culture. Talking about rock and roll, the first, you know, prominent rock and roll was a black man. He just passed away. 2018, I believe. Forget his name. So however you look at it, the true foundation or the true essence of music comes from the melanated people. And I ain't the one to come on here and talk black. We're just talking about it. You know, ever since Janet Jackson did that, they've been reluctant. Justin Timberlake, shit, you know, most people consider him as an honorary brother. So that, that's my whole issue with it. They have an issue with putting on black performers. May it be pop. May it be guys like Chris Brown who could really like Michael Jackson, Tim Total Pop, and R&B line. You know, may it be, um, you know, uh, somebody like, uh, I don't know, Joe to see Total, SWV. You know what I'm saying? It's an issue. You know, you got to understand, majority of your people, the young people, their favorite genre is rap or R&B. So it's a good look that the weekend get on there. He one of those guys that kind of, tiptoe the R&B pop line, and I love those type of guys, you know what I'm saying, I love the, you know, it's really no more pure R&B, you know, you got the, um, Janae Aiko, her, um, LMA, and they kind of got that mellow sound, nobody got that Anita, or that Shaka Khan, or that Tina Marie sound, them strong voices, or them high voice, everything is, can we just chill, that the Khalid guy, I love that song, everything is just, R&B ain't, it's no more New Jack, there's no more Bobby Brown, ain't no more Keith Sweat, ain't no more Jodeci, Total, SWV, that sound, just that pure sound of pure R&B, it doesn't exist anymore, you know what I'm saying, you know you missed the Neo Soul sound, shout out to Jack World Wright, Music Soul Child, you don't have that no more, just like in rap, you don't have conscious rap, you don't have positive rap, and it ain't never been a lot of variety of conscious and and positive, you had your conscious rappers, or you had your rappers that can popularize positive message or tell you, don't do this, you know, this will happen, don't push me, because I'm close, that Grandmaster Flash and Furious 5, got that, you know, but it's never been, like, hip-hop has never been, or rap has never been 50% positive, 
and neither has R and B side that you keep going on. Either kind of that up tempo Crystal Waters, yada da You know, you had your Chub Rocks and stuff. It's never been that, but it's good to see Chris. I mean, it's good to see uh, the weekend do his thing. Um, I like the weekend music. Um, even though I heard he got pop, 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 by, by Usher, he put them hands on him for disrespecting him. But um, yeah, good to see him performing at the uh at the Super Bowl. They really want to bring black people back. Let let Jay Z or let um Nas or let you know let somebody rock the mic. Now these new dudes, no, you know a lot of these new dudes ain't. They can't rap. Rap has just really been watered down. You know what I'm saying? I listen to a few people, but I'm just tired of hearing that that little singing and whining. Like, they didn't play that out. The dude, Mo, rest in power to him. I'm going to have a video coming about him again. You know, all these dudes just, <laughs> they sing and rap like, please. I can see if that that was just a Southern thing. And that was just they sound. But you go up to Jersey with Fetty Wap. You got Ace Boogie with the Hoodley and the Bronx singing. They got the dude, Roddy Rich, on the... It ain't even rap no more, bro. <laughs> I'm like, get out of here, dude. I just legitimately hate today's hip hop. And I rap and I hate the whole thing. The clothes, the dress, the dancing, the lack of creativity with video. Just the whole culture is in a bad place. And this is what happens when you got clear people telling how how it moves. You know what I'm saying? You know, all these rappers is trash. I listen to, like, The Baby. Obviously, Cole, Kendrick, Crit, Like, Joey Bat. Them dudes is like, they could be in that era where... But some of these other dudes, man, I don't have a problem with the Migos, neither. Future, he's cool. But all these wannabes, like, Fetty, it's terrible. But I got love for the weekend. So, hopefully, he rocked the mic. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out if you have a business question, inquire, response, your video request. All my social media links in the description. Twitter's the fastest way. Then, Facebook and Instagram. We got a Facebook group. Want to make a donation to the channel? Cash app CJ Good three one three. PayPal link in the description. Cash app there as well too. Check our music entertainment playlist and NFL playlist for more videos like this. Let me know what you guys think. We go.